In this use case, we'll use 3D Analyst to calculate the volume per stall type that needs to be removed for the Ransat Rail subway tunnel seen here in red. We'll use the Geotop model developed by TNO in Holland, which is a 3D geological model of the upper 30 meters of the subsurface. The model consists of 3D grid cells, each 100 by 100 by 0.5 meters, with attributes describing the soil. And here we have closed multi patches classified by soil type which we generated from these raw geotop data points that you can see here. Now what we want to do next is we want to create a 3D buffer around a tunnel center line and then use this closed multi-patch to select in 3D space the geotop grid cells that intersect with the tunnel. And then we can perform the actual intersect in 3D to get the soil type volumes inside our subway tunnel. Or, alternatively, we can subtract the tunnel from the geotop grid cells to see the different soil types inside the tunnel as we fly through it. And the end result that we're after is we want to summarize by soil type to get a good indication of how much of each soil type needs to be removed. And as you can see here in the graph, peat is the largest volume, followed by clay and then sand. And for more information on 3DGS and other use cases, please keep exploring our 3DGS Resource Center.